No, but he just picked out one. Name, go the list. Because you didn't no, list, no, let me. One. Name the list. Go the list. Brother, don't poet me, bro. I'll jump the table. I'll give you. Hey, Miles, Miles. You clearly can't read. Miles, so, I'll, Miles, I'll give you the 10 in order. Harland, Salah. Stop, 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 Jesus stop Christ, Christ him, boy. Go, go, Let go, finish go, the go, list. After, after you say a name. No, 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 no. After you say a name. After you say a name. After you say a name, I'll say something. Go on. Harland. Top goal scorer. Salah. Third, second top goal. Third, third goal. Oh, mate. No, no. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's no, over. Do you laugh in the No, video. you stop. No, no, you stop. In it, man. Dad, you spit him up, Dad. There'll be no more. Because he's talking we right. We tried. We tried. There's no more. Hey, Mouse. Mouse. It's over. Philvia5.com. We are following up our very controversial central midfielders episode with our equally controversial attacking midfielders episode we split them up maybe next year every team's gonna have a good defensive midfielder a good central midfielder and a good attacking midfielder and we can do three lists and make it even more like divisive i would like to note something i've just Please. realized it yeah not in the, there won't be one in the top 10 and there certainly wasn't one in the short list at all chelsea don't have any no attacking midfielders worthy of being in there do they no not really what Cole, was he not in there? This is a winger. He's a winger. He's a winger. He's a winger. Yeah. Do you know what I would say? I don't think there's enough good right wingers and good left wingers. So let's make one winger list. Well, we've already done left wingers. <laughs> so we're not doing right wingers then, basically. We are. Yeah, we shouldn't. Chelsea are dead anyway, man. Don't worry about that, man. Before we get into our list, I'm going to introduce the panel from my left to my right. He's on his way to Canada. He is uh, Pen Games' last uh, free live event is around the corner. His name is Muggs. Yeah, man, AKA Final Boss. You know what they say? Final Boss. <laughs> Not the Final Boss. What, for Pen Game? Oh, oh for Pen Game. Fair, Come on. fair, fair. <laughs> Go through me, you could take the company. But no, I'm not, <laughs> we're, not, we're not adding that stipulation in. <laughs> we're not adding that stipulation. <laughs> <simulation. laughs> that would be good though if you was the final boss. But they, would they murk you some of them you guys? Or what? They Come on, man. It's different. Muggs would cook. You ain't, got, you ain't got drill you pace, man. You ain't got drill <laughs> pace. I don't need to, I could spit on different beats. I don't need to do drill. Oh, well, you'll take it down to rap? I'll just I'll take them down to my level. Yeah, but what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's man talking about? That's not what the final boss would do. Yes, he would. I just told, I watched The Rock tell him, if you can't, you're sacked. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I need to watch it, you know. Ah, oh, it's craziness. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock's back. The Rock's back. The Rock's back. Next on the panel, uh, he's wearing his new Spartan hat. Spartan hats are back. Steve and the Yes, they are back. Oh. Talking of them being back. Margs, you are probably the only guy that wears truckers. I, I need boys. a hat. I ain't got a trim. Okay, let me have one. You know your hat looks like a granddad hat right now, Margs? Mm. <laughs> it's better than the other one when he wore the hat with the vigorous gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, let me get that proper. one. Let me get that one. Let me get that one. <laughs> let me get that. Let me get that S one. Let me wear the S one now. Let me wear the this S one right now. Hey, this is actually good. That's, let me see. That's how you know you're my brethren. You're so nasty. Hat. Miles asked for the S one and you gave him the S one. <laughs> he said, huh? <laughs> yeah, the S one's cold. Steve, if you could give me an S one. Thank you, Steve, man. No worries, Appreciate man. that, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, done. This. well done. Yeah, Dan, Dan's a trucker hat guy, too, though. Yes. STMM store. <laughs> <laughs> STMM store. King of Snap Man with the gap. Brap. Next on the panel, his hat's a bit baggy. Savage Dan. It works, though. <laughs> <laughs> resize it, resize it. I like it, it I like no. it. It needs to be resized. Great night, great night of boxing the other night, Dan. It was decent. Mm. It was Unbelievable. Decent. One of the best fights I've seen in a long time. just won that. It's going to be a great rematch. I thought... Um, I'm going Fabio. No, nah, yeah. I actually thought Fraser won it, but most oh, wow. people just are split, which means we need the rematch. Yeah. Wait, Dan, on the last episode, we spoke about the stable, innit? Um, yeah, McGuigan. Have you been watching that? The stable? No. No, have you heard about the show, The Stable? No. No. It's an old show though, you know. What's, what's it about horses? There was a show called Glue back in the day that was about horses, but it got cancelled because too many horses died. Wow. Horses dying? Oh, you know that's the thing with horses? Yeah. <laughs> what, that they die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, but. No, if they, get injured, they, if they get injured, they just kill them. Yeah, yeah. Man. That's they don't even let them and if, you can't, if, you're, if you're bred to be a racehorse and like, you're not even quick. Reese like, James. Goodbye. But do we know it's why? It's not that like we, we, we don't even eat them. Is yes, that fair do. that they, that they, they break their leg? Go. They do. Is that fair that they break their leg and they have to die? Yeah, that's mad. Can, can it not be? Do we know why though? No, I'm asking you if it was fair. You said oh, yes. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no! Is it true? It's true. No, it's true. Sorry. I'm saying, is it fair? No, no it's not fair. Poor promo for the hats, boy. Has anyone broke their leg here? I heard Dazza broke his leg. By the way, I broke my leg. I'd be dead. You'd be dead. Well, if I was a horse. Oh yeah, if you were a horse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dazza broke his leg. 
On holiday, How? In Thailand. On oh, holiday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on I am t- breaking your leg on holiday. You're so dumb. That's Did six. he? Recent. To yesterday, yeah. Now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, said, I said recent. Now, bro. Now. How? Now, yeah. bro. He yeah. got knocked off his bike. <laughs> what? Do you know, I'm actually going to find out. That's his leg broken now. Right, right is this That's the most that's a thing ever. That's crazy. He should have gone on holiday. So he's clumsy. But next on the panel, his name's Jordy. He's got no new music. You can start putting pressure on him to put really? new music out again. What do you mean, He's just man? released music. Yeah, I'm tired, but, man. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it back to the days where you re- released annually. Nah, man. You've got to do better than that. You'll get lost. <laughs> You'll get lost. <laughs> music yeah. comes out too I'll quick. J. Cole got this, released a diss, released the apology. Oh. oh. It's water, though. It's water. It's water. Okay. Do you remember Ants? Yeah, the, the, the this remi- this this reminded me of ants. The film, film. yeah, okay. Where <laughs> not just ants. And this is the thing is a metaphor for society right now because when look you see when this happens and all the ants were like, yeah, the colony was. Sylvester Stallone, Jennifer Lopez. That was Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was the big ant. The big ant. Sly. Barbados. <laughs> is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> was that his name? Yeah. Why do you remember his name? You're a cartoon fan, ain't you? Ain't you like Barbosa or something like that? No, no it's, it's Bar- Barbados. <laughs> if he stamps it, <laughs> you didn't even back him when he said it alone. No, it's Barbados. <laughs> you, didn't know, you didn't even know it was Sly. That's terrible. Sylvester Stallone's name is actually Weaver and Barbados is Danny Glover. Yeah. It's Barbatus, by the way, not Danny Barbados. Glover. Yeah, Barbados. Barbatus. Or Barbatus, Barbatus maybe, but it's is not Barbados. Barbados. <laughs> Barbados and Barbados is the, the same, same thing. thing. Especially if you're American. Yeah, exactly. Ant can't complain about his name. This is your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't correct me. Next to the panel, a man who knows all the rules for what animals can and can't complain about. His name's Miles. AKA was AKA the best looking guy on YouTube. I haven't said that for a while, man. Next on the panel, representing for Lyon. Come on. Olympic Lyon. His name's Poet. Shout out Maitland Niles, cup final. You don't know I will try to be there. Oh. Maybe five Leon players. Right now. No, not right now. Please. Yeah, well, yeah right now. No, 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 right now. no, 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 Ooh. Oh wow! Because I know five. Oh, you do, you don't mean right now playing right now? You mean he has to tell you right yeah, now? Yeah, f- yeah. Tell me right now. Five Brazilian players that played for Leon. Five. It's a good one. No, 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 no that's a good one. That, okay, that is a right. very good one. This is difficult to be this fair. Very good one. There's the Janinho, which is the most big yeah, one, I most guess. Iconic. Don't drag it out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, Mr. Flintstone himself, Fred. I used to like Fred. Yeah. There was Bruno Guimarães when he should have signed for Arsenal. He knows ball, you know. He does, he does. Um, that's the I have. Fred. You fried? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you had five. Oh, we said five. Yeah, but you said five. Yeah, but you need to help me. Oh, so oh, I said five if I helped. Yeah. <laughs> two more, two more. We don't even know if there are five. Is that what we're saying? I want to say Paquetta's one. Uh, and the last one. Mulligan. I'm going to throw out a name called Alex. I ain't heard now. No. The I would have gone Anderson. 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 Just threw the name I would have gone as free Sonny name, as free name Anderson. Down. Sonny Anderson. Oh. Well, it's time Damn to get into it, our top no, 10 of attacking midfielders in the Premier League today Woo. as this season starts to build to oh, such a dramatic climax where everyone's just not really that interested. I'm interested. Mm. We're interested. I'm upset that I'm not involved, but I'm interested, yeah. Mm. They can still get Champions League. There ain't been a three-horse race in a while. Only three of them can do it. That's interesting to me. Well, uh, I'm going to run through some of the players that got votes and didn't make the top 10. Steve-O gave him 10th place and it was Alex Awobi. Shout out Alex Awobi though, man. He did well. Definitely done well. Up, World no. Cup. Had a good I didn't think he'd get there, but I just wanted to pick up. Nah, he's playing well. He's Shout out up Alex Awobi, Calvin Bassey, got, my guy. Got taken off a half ta- before half time the other day. Yeah, it's sub- tactical. Savage Dan voted Mason Mount ninth. He, he, what? Huh? He ain't played, but I, I just wanted to show that he still has my support despite. <laughs> 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 that is terrible. Margs gave a ninth place vote to Joe Linton. I like that. I like Joe Linton. Ninth place, yeah. Oh, Joe Linton, he's still alive. You liked him this season? When he, he's been, what's he been injured as well? He ain't played like him, but I just think, I think he's, I think he's good, man. He surprised me a lot. I thought he was one of the worst players in the league when they was playing him up front. Moved to the midfield. You don't know ball challenge. That is a blue, that is horrible, you know. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. You see, in this league, all you need is physicality. Not all you need, but if you got physicality and you got legs and you got to run, that's why man like Billing and that can make you a living legs, there. And they run. go up against the midfields. Man United do it all the time when they don't want to run and they just get overrun. And that's a that is like a hallmark of the prem. Like these athletes that can that can ball and that. And Joel Linton is a good midfielder. Chat to them. He's good, but you don't know if you don't like him. But that's cool. He's not we top like, ten. We've all said we like him here, right? I think right. 
Nah. Nah. What he's just said that is totally correct. He dominates midfields, by nah. the way. Mm. But he's not that great. Well, good thing is Miles can now stand on ten toes, not snitch, leave, leave us out the Rico. Seventh place, you had Harvey Elliott. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Let me tell you. Baller, though. Ah, Baller. Bud, Baller. I was going to put him in, and I thought, you know what? I'll give it another another season or two. Oh, like, well, he should have spun you then. I oh, know. <laughs> I, I didn't put him in. But no, I was going to put him in. Then I thought, could, nah. I'm happy with that. Thank you. He deserves a mention. He's unbelievable. I think it's it. been very good. Change yeah. the game against uh, Man United. Came yeah. on. Always finds a spare player, which is a skill, man. He always keeps it ticking as well. And he's not shy away from the ball. I love him. Little Harvey, man, with his little perm. <laughs> the next player, 13th, uh, Margs gave him a 10th place vote. Pope gave him a 7th place vote. Miles gave him a 10th place vote. Kai Havertz. Nice. I love Kai. Very good, but I'm still not having him as an attacking midfielder. I understand that. Miles was yeah, purely I mean, biased. It was purely yeah. biased. And you actually hate him now. No, nah, Arsenal season turned around with him there. Mm. Not turned around. They were good anyway, yeah. But now they're up front. They're, they're, he they're looks crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Your right hand's going to be stuck, but... Mm, All right, excuse me? Not you, no, you. no, T. Mars on T. He's <laughs> made this up in your head. I haven't. Margs has this next player sixth. Geordie has him tenth. And Dan has him tenth. Good, honest, attacking midfield player, Scott McTominay. I think that's what I'm looking for instead of a Joe Linton. Similar. Come on, man. That, a lot of it. Wait, really. right, and I said it last show. His Man United bias is really shining, man. When your team's not doing too great and your players shouldn't be up there, he's still putting them there. Before you could Which argue. one is it? Am I Man United's worst fan or am I biased? Which one is it? Yeah, that's true. I ain't said it for a couple of years, though. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> also, he's probably scored the most last-minute game winners out of everybody that's in that list. Yeah. He's clutch. Ooh. So as an attacking midfielder, it's clutch, man. he's Scottish. He needs to start. He's for Scotland. He is Scottish. And don't, I always say it, man. There's certain places when players are from there, you just got to take them seriously. Scott McTominay is a dog. Do you know his name's short for Scotland? 11th is a player that we didn't have in the shortlist because we've considered him a winger this season. And when it came down to it, there's a few inside players who, if they play more games on the wing, we've just classified them as wingers. Even if they do play a lot of games and their natural position is in the side, like Cole Palmer, but also Poets, third place vote, which is Phil Foden. Yeah. He's, he's going to be on our winger list. He wasn't even on the list. He wasn't. I don't know. I just felt like I saw him there for some strange reason. But most importantly, when I saw attacking midfielders, I just said I would put that in my list anyway. But he doesn't really play there too often. He does sometimes, yes. Yeah. He does. It's like Cole Palmer does sometimes. But He's played more there more often this year, to be fair. Has he? Yeah. Not more cause... often than on the wing, but more often than he usually plays there. Not more often than on the wing. Because the Bruins has been out for half the season. So, and that's yeah, but where they put played. Silver out there, though. Well, him and Bernardo were interchange, innit? So it's not really... You, can't even, you don't even really know where them are yeah, playing. Kind of <laughs> Bro, so many times I watch my City, I don't have a clue. Free roll. We might need a, to do a oh, free yeah, roll they had, Yeah, they had Alvarez, they had Alvarez come too, innit? That's a good list, you know. There's a lot of men that free rolling so around. They don't have pitch. a Scooby where they play. The, the whole of Chelsea. Uh, we've made it to our top 10. We Now, this player could have been in the central midfielders list, but because of the team he plays for and what he does for that team, he becomes an attacking midfielder, even though he does it from deep. His output is very... Attacking, crazy. He got uh, a ten, a ninth place vote from Jordi, a eighth place vote from Miles, and a seventh place vote from me. He's Ross Barkley. Yes, player. Come on, boys. Very good. Very decent. Come on, boys. He deserves a redemption. Being a top 10. Going off this, yeah. Going off I this don't season. I've really watched. Pardon, Ross Barkley. He's probably one of the reasons why they're floating around safe zone. Seventeen. Right now. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you've yeah, watched man. him a couple of times and he's you played well. <laughs> Have you watched him more? I haven't put him in my list. I, no, I haven't. But I just know Ross what? Barkley. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you haven't watched him? You haven't watched Ross Barkley this season? I've, 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 I've he, he said, he said, he said, have I watched him more? I said, probably not. Like, yeah, I don't, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Void, but yeah, I just, void, but yeah. I don't know. I just, but so I just why are you know, contesting this? I just know you haven't. Of course we, <laughs> <laughs> me. That's it. How That's you know what I haven't? I mean? I know that you have not put your eyes on Ross Barkley playing yeah, you know, football to put him in the head of all the other players. Yes, I have. Yes, I, I have. Yes, That's I have. What I think. All right. Yes, I have. <laughs> What's he talking about? Hey, Steve O's hat's out now. He's going mad. What's he talking about? Right. Luton have had a lot of television time. A lot, a lot, a lot. They've taken Max four. No, I can tell you all the points. Max they've four, taken four what? Yeah. TV t p time no, on TV. They've no, had more. no, no, they've had more. They've had at least they ten. Get, they've they've televised a lot. At least ten games. Ross Barkley's been very consistent for. Uh, I watched their game just the other day with Clinton <laughs> Morrison. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, all right, mate. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Hey, hey, Kendrick, 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 calm down, Kendrick, 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 Kendrick is cool. Live on TV. I don't know about what you're watching. I'm not. I'm not going to incriminate myself, but I watch football. I watch football live. You put him at. You put him at ninth. 
Tenth, he's tenth. No, but you. Eighth, he put him eighth. Eighth. I just don't know, mate. Like, ahead of. Whoa. He's been so good, man. He's been good. He's been so no, good. I, I agree and with you. I'm, I'm very interested to see what happens to him this summer. Yeah, he's been all right. Didn't suit my agenda, so I didn't put him on the list. But yeah, you put Joe Linton instead, yeah. Did he just get the year? It's my agenda, man. I think <laughs> he got a one year deal. Yeah, well, Luton ain't giving out two year deals in the Prem, no way. Do you reckon he stays in the Prem? Yeah, I reckon he has he'll to, yeah. come to a team that's com um, Bruv, coming up. That midfield between Ross Barkley might go Leicester. and Lokonga, them two together in the midfield have looked very good this season. The team that's bottom of the league. Are they bottom They're not or second bottom. Second from bottom. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. Bro, it's Luton, bro. The team third from bottom Luton, of the league. Luton, Very good. It's Luton. Oh, by, by their standards. I'm yeah. going to check if the team fourth bottom of the league. Let's see if Steve-O voted for their number 10. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, all right. It's in trouble. Steve-O. Exactly. I love what Steve-O's on because he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I wish people on Twitter can see me do that. I do it all the time, bro. Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. Uh, yeah, man, Ross Barkley's been quality. He'll get a move. He'll get a move. Yeah. If, Lu if Luton go down and he's got one year contract. Crystal Palace. The, anyone who comes up even will take Yeah, but him. what about Crystal Palace? No. Not that's anyone that Too goes close up. to London, too close to Lippy. He's, he's living in London now. He was at Chelsea. That's, that's Luton. He's no way he's moved. He's living too he's close to Lippy. He's definitely in London, bro. <laughs> he's next to Lippy now. Oh, he probably lives next to Lippy now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't like it. I don't like. Nah, he I, could. He could definitely be. He's not. He's not him. got his mind right if he's chatting to Lippy. Bournemouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bournemouth should go move for him. Nah, not Bournemouth. He's got his priorities all over the place. Bournemouth. I like Brentford for him. Oh, Bournemouth by the Sandbanks. That's I like that. It's Sandbanks nice. is lovely. In front of him in centre midfield for Ooh, Ross Barkley. For Ross yeah. Barkley, Polina. Oh, Fulham. Yeah, Fulham, man. You want to stick him Boy, in the King's Road? You look going yeah. crazy. Yeah, now nah, you're asking too much of him there. What do you think <laughs> of Ross Barkley? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, the <laughs> video I saw. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't come London. I don't think that's a London. I don't think that's a. I need to be in an urban environment thing. I think that's a just. He looks like he's still got a computer tower. Number nine on our list, and he was voted high by Stevo and Dan and Tigo. Dominic Sobersly. No. No. Not not like the not like the full he didn't have a good the game full the ticket. Day. Didn't. Not the full ticket that he looked like when he first joined. Liverpool fans are on him. Still, he's still he's still very he's clean. He's very good. Yeah. He's, he just hasn't maintained that explosive entrance. The game I watched against Man United, they were so there for the taking, and I think he was one of the players that was guilty of not being clinical. Is it just little, Man United though, Poet? No, some of the games that I've seen before, it's been a little bit the passing's not what it was. The long range shots it's ain't the quite prem, the same. And I think, I think maybe he's burning out now because it's been a long old season. Maybe the injury didn't help, but he started well. I just know, I know there's a player there. I no, think, of course. I of course. think because he had set a level up here, I still think his level he's at now is still. I see him still dominating. I don't think he. I still even see set him attacking, uh, making great, uh, setting up chances. Getting close with other chances, he probably put a few more goals away, but he's still top draw. I think Liverpool fans set the level up there because it's better than what they had from before. But if no, he was actually up, really good, but if you're going off the Premier League, yeah, he is. But if you're going off the Premier League standard, he's not top. He's better than Barkley. I've seen Barkley control games more for Luton than I have seen Sobbers because he's got he ain't got players around him as get, like that's kind of worth road, man. I don't want to hear that. Can't do that. You can't give. You got. You ain't got players it's around. It's like Cole Palmer at Chelsea because there's no one else around. He's it's gonna come through him. Sub like Sub like ain't got players around him. He's got players around him. So yeah. I'm saying, so so he's doing it. So by he's himself. sharing the load. So he's not gonna see him controlling games as much. Ross Barkley I mean. from that deeper position is gonna control games more than a dominant yeah, Sub yeah, like. yeah, yeah. More an off ball runner. And you'll notice it. Luton are Luton are gonna be up against it far more than Liverpool are. Of course. So like you'll notice everything. It's the heartbreak. He's a good player, but. Where, where is this ninth? So Basile is going to be one of the better and he'll score a lot of goals next at year. At nine is not bad though. I'm not mad at that. At least he's top 10. I think Liverpool fans are going to be mad, but they're mad at every one of our lists. They well, they're, they're mad at him. No, they're mad at him. They're very mad at oh, Sobosley. Liverpool fans will still find a way. They're actually mad like, at him right yeah, now. We're mad at him because he's actually the top two and he's no playing way. like he's six. Dominic Sobosley, I like him. I can't forgive him for that chance he missed at Old Trafford though. Very, very it's poor, a, It's man. a tough place to go clearly for Liverpool. Off his heel. Huh. My lord. Klopp don't think. <laughs> you should think. You can't even, yeah, you're not even lying. It's tough. Well, number eight on our list, and Steve O did vote for him, but Margs and Geordie had him highest. Uh, Morgan Gibbs White. What a player. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for but him. But let's be real. He hasn't been as good this season as he was last season. The forests haven't been as good this season as exactly. they were last season. So it proves my point. Does it? What's your point? Because he's been. Because he's <laughs> dropped off a level. Look, he's probably. <laughs> 
he's probably playing <laughs> like a. <laughs> no, go on. No, like I've got eight. Okay, but wait, but wait. Attacking midfielder. Their laugh is a midfielder. Their, their laugh isn't my my thing. Yeah, no, they just laugh. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's their laugh. It, 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 it looks like background music when you're talking. Their <laughs> laugh is just disgusting. <laughs> now I'm with you though. He's almost like he's got a little bit of tax from the previous season, and we know how good he is. But I haven't seen uh, loads of moments like, like I saw. I haven't watched for. I think I've seen a lot, it. but I haven't seen loads of moments like I saw. But ability, he for me, still top ten. Yeah, yeah. I watched him against Spurs, even though that if was a very difficult watch. Before, with his ability and how he is in games, if his team was top four, he'd be way up higher on the list. <laughs> 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 if he had better wingers as well, I know Alanga's had a good season, but my lord, Alanga's some of the decisions. No, in the last game I watched, some of the decisions are oh, terrible, bro. Terrible. He's attacking partners would sometimes our knee Hudson Adoy along they're not as consistent as he would be at all performance wise he got the ball so it's going to hinder him it's going to hinder him yeah he got the ball middle of the part last, year, like right, Brennan, last no year Brennan Johnson who was like right there with him yeah them yeah two, them two, you get me and yeah man that hurt Marks uh, Savage Dan reckons Morgan Gibbs White is a bit of a sexy boy oh Shawn Michaels nah yeah, you know what it is? He tried to trigger me. Okay, man. I'm not doing that. You started up something so stupid. What do you mean? Like, so stupid. And you got people disrespecting the legend that is Shawn Michaels. I like Shawn Michaels. That's my guy. But what I'm going to say is this. When he, he snaked his boy, though. When he comes down the ramp, you see it. Everything he does, they, they, they clear roads for him. That's the guy. But no one took enough note of Triple H. Facts. Hunter, Hearst, Helmsley. Helmsley. That's the Married game. Stephanie McMahon. Facts. The game. Degeneration X. Road Dog. X Park. Chinese. Everything. Tell him. Sean started Degeneration X. And he gave it to him when he left. That's China's man. I don't whilst, understand. Whilst Triple H was simmering under there, no one paid him any attention. Facts. And then boom. Sledgehammer. The game's, boom. The game's, the game's biggest run. Yeah. Nobody was there. He's fighting himself. Batista and that. Bro, you know what, what are you no talking about? The rock, the rock was there. Everyone was round there. Fought, you know, he's fought the Rock at a main event probably twice. He's fought, he's fought the Rock at a main event twice. It was an Intercontinental Champ stuff, not Chats world level. Them, guy, anyway, you know what? We're not doing this. Do you have a finishing move better than the pedigree? Stone Cold Stunner. No. Switching music. There's only one that's more dangerous. It's Tombstone I'm Power talking. Drama. I'm talking, yeah. yeah. The ones that you do in the playground. When I did the pedigree, uh, when I did a pedigree on you a girl. You did a pedigree to a girl. I was in like year five. <laughs> no, so, so don't make it. Bam, face on concrete. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know bus case because of that. The, the best finishing move in the playground nobody wanted. Mandible claw. <laughs> 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 anyway, look, I rate- um, Morgan Gibbs White. I rate Morgan Gibbs White as well as uh, the Heartbreak Kid. And I'm, I model myself as- Are that. you saying that I he's do... simmering and no one's watching him? No, I'm saying everyone can see everything he does. And that's why they're ranting and raving. But there are some players who might not even really be in this list that you can't Harvey really Elliott. see. I hear you, a Harvey Elliott type That's of it. situation. I'm telling you, Triple H, that, that, there that, are some players out there, you see everything they do. Salah, Salah's not going to do it and kill you quietly. He's going to kill you with the dotty. Also, Gibbs is 25 now as well. Like, Shawn Michaels doesn't have a gun. No, Shawn Michaels had several guns. He had, he had, he had bad ass Billy gun. <laughs> Stone Cold and Brian Pillman, they had a gun. They all had guns. Yeah, because there's no laws in America. For Bro, that. you think the Texas rattlesnake never had guns? Of course he did. He had straps for days. Of course he did. The Rock Samoan. How you think they didn't have guns? Oh, I know the problem with Gibbs White. Go. The moustache. The it's bad moustache. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what it looked like. I wonder what it looks like without it. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the moustache. Because it crazy. looks like it looks strong. It, it looks like there's colouring. Like yeah, there's just like a Movember thing that went too far. This is like a conscious effort. <laughs> this is just my life. I was saying, with pot kettle black. Oh, you're doing that row again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the worst thing is that he said pot kettle black. Yeah. You don't usually say Wait, that. Steve-o, man. You, you just say pot kettle. Steve-o. Oh, is it? Yeah, because you don't need to say pot. You Calling say pot the kettle, kettle black. I was shortened it down. No, you didn't shorten it enough. I've never heard really? this. I've never heard this. You know how call, the pot calling the kettle black? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think maybe if he shaved that moustache, we'd be like, whoa, what's going on there? Maybe. Yeah. Do you think? People with moustaches generally are hiding something. I told you, Jordy. Like Vince McMahon, you seen Vince McMahon's moustache? No, since we're talking hiding. about wrestling, he's hiding a lot. Especially people with moustaches and no beard, they're hiding loads. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> I know you're crying. <laughs> like, I know you're crying. <laughs> Wait, do, you know why, do you know why you're in trouble? Because I didn't meet you with that tash. Me? Yeah. I've I been growing it. Why? <laughs> that, mean, that means so you're guilty. I can't grow it, bruv. I'm, so I've been trying to grow it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that makes sense? <laughs> no. And yours looks like it's been like a French like pencil. Yeah, no, if like, if I let this go, it goes. Is it? Yeah. Crazy. yeah. I can't grow, I've been growing. In COVID, in COVID, I look like <laughs> Gaston. Pepe Le Pew or something. Gaston. <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> well, number seven on our list, he was voted for by everybody on the list, and Dan had him highest, so he could probably explain it best. Eber Richie Eze. Yeah. Gaplau. I'm s- going, Dan. What, what, I mean, what more do you want me to say, man? Say like, more, elaborate. Very, very, like, really good. I kind of. <laughs> That's elaborating. Si- yeah, silky. What more smooth. can I say? Um, Unreal. I do think overrated. What? Nah, nah. I rate him, but I think he's overrated. You had him highest on the I list. I think he's overrated a lot of players. Why, 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 why? Because. Uh, I think cold, he's man. also one of those players that you just see everything that's good on them. Oh, I don't know if you do. What do you mean? But, but, him so and Elise, what, 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 him and Elise his point. What was you going to say? Carrying I'm them. basically saying, yes, he's carrying them, but... Where to? Like, anyway, I had him highest. So I, so I rate him higher than all of you. Like, I'm he saying, didn't know what he was doing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I had him highest, highest out of you lot, but he's not in my top five. But you're the only one calling him overrated. Nah, he's not in my top five. Can I say he's not overrated? Though. He's not overrated. But I'm saying everyone rants and raves about him, but because he's that good, Dan. No, just because we're seeing technical ability, like we're seeing a gift. We're seeing a gifted. Yeah. City he's wanted gifted. him. Gifted. Yeah, he's that good, bro. How can you I've seen, I've seen a lot of gifted players that don't. Can't turn the screw. But he's I just hope he's not one of those. Yeah, but we. But, but he might turn the screw when he goes to a better club. He's turning the screw. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. I know. Been turning saying. the screw since QPR. Gone up levels. Turned the screw some more. Could have put into the England team. He's continued. a handyman. Not for England, but just kept his um screw turn. Screw turn. <laughs> <his, laughs> for his um for his club. You know what I mean? So no, I he's think good. Listen, he's let me reiterate this. I had him higher <laughs> than anyone else here. <laughs> 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 I feel Dan played him down because of them. No, I'm just. This is how I. This is how I think that attacking players with lots of potential that haven't reached it yet should be played down. How old is he as well? I think he would be sensational 25. in Chelsea Blue. Twenty five. So this is it now. You kind of kick on here. I think he would be very good in Chelsea no? Blue. Well, I I heard that Pep liked him a lot, but now I think it's Paqueta personally. Yeah, as in I just hope he can be as effective as he is talented. That's it. I think Chelsea should make What position does he play though? Because like the number 10 position doesn't look like he's disappearing. Does it, he I sort know, of move to the wing or? Because like most teams can't play with one. So then what does that mean for him though? Is there a thing Just where deeper. there's a lot of number 10s playing or that play, people that play in, are we going to start seeing two? Like, we, are we going to see a change of formation to, to, to fit these? Because there was a to lot of To accommodate the situation, yeah, the previous players. I think 10s are mad important if you play four at the back. We saw City play on the weekend. Yeah, but th- it, theirs is a cheat code because they've also got like the best player in, also, in almost every position. So it's just annoying. So I'm saying like they can do the ticker tacker they can go a bit direct. But I'm saying as, a, as them players that if you're playing four at the back and you've got two holding, you need a 10. Yeah, you do, I, you I really don't do. like four, three, three. I think it's too easy to defend against nowadays. Yeah, but you, you, you do four, two. You that 10, you know, like a 10 that just drops in that little, drops in the hole and just like, just has, just gets in between everyone. You Madison, can't do Madison. that from an eight, really. The 10 sort of, we they stop being 10s, right? Now that we're playing, teams are playing, like really playing through and that, they're becoming super important, right? For the 10s? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Are they 10s now, though? Yeah, yeah, something yeah, else? How many 10s are there tens? in the league? Three? At least four? At least four good 10s, ten, good anyway. No, not many, not many, not many. At all. Madison's one. Madison. Odegaard. Odegaard. Odegaard, Ezzy, but uh, Chelsea don't but have one. It was like 10's not one. playing in the 10 position. They're just Odegaard's a 10. It's like their 8's. It's like nah, their, it's he like plays eights, like no. a 10. But Odegaard definitely, in terms of like where yeah. he's come from, he's would probably be a 10. He's just the most advanced in the Arsenal team. The way I say a 10, see, for me, it's like, goes through them a bit. No, I'm saying 10 is like that central figure, like in between the lines. Not someone who drifts out wide. I'm yeah, talking that's God. A 10 yeah. is the type of player that like, you change your formation. It's not like the old 10. 10. You but know what it is? I think there's a few players in the league here that, like you're saying, the type of player will describe them with their skill set and all that. Saying, As a like, 10. They're 10s, yeah. Like, so that's what, we're, that's what we're calling them. But a lot of, there's not a lot of teams that actually yeah. play with yeah. a 10 like what yeah. we would know you it. You can say Odegaard, but like, Hi Havertz was your most advanced midfielder for most of this season. But it wasn't coming through him though. Like it yeah, comes because through they kind of so like that's, that's what I'm saying. Team. But that's not yeah. a ten then. That's Whereas a playmaker. You, would, you see, old school Urzel, you'd never dream of playing him anywhere other than that ten. Yeah, but then football's in a different space. The way football is today, yeah, like I said, some of the players that are number ten, like Urzel, would have loved to have seen today. He probably wouldn't have played ten at all. They probably would have found another position. And Urzel played wing for Real Madrid a lot as well. So they would have definitely found a way for these tens to be accommodated. Tens are clever, so they it's, find space anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but number six on our list was voted for by everybody and Miles had him highest, so he can go first explaining why James Madison is the sixth best attacking midfielder in the Premier League. Yeah. James Madison, like, like we said, explaining tens, there's only a handful of tens mm. in this league and James, Mad- James Madison is definitely one of the best attacking midfielders in this league. He makes things happen for Tottenham. Everything goes through him. Mm-hmm. Like, 
pick up the ball from Basuma. He drives. He could he could sit in a space in between the defenders and the midfielders. He could pop a shot. He could pick a pass. He could do it all. James Madison is a great player. Does he drive a lot. He could drive the ball. I've seen him pick the ball deep and drive into a space. Obviously, Ooh. that's not his game, Ooh. but he can do it as Ooh, a ten. I don't know. I think the ten is the hardest position to play. He done it against us at the Emirates. Yeah, 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 exactly. He did it. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing that James Madison just needs to do is stay injury free. But other than that, he's up there. Thing with, with James Madison, these players that we're saying that are like that is it's the fact that they look. They're, they're always looking for that pass. Yeah. They're always looking in there's that that in the way that teams have become a lot more robotic and like like there's a lot of that. When I was watching Tottenham versus Forest the other day, everything went through Madison. Majority of the play went through Madison. Like, you see, like, there's, there's not that wide. many players. Yeah, like a lot of players now. Everything through like through. you see that like, that can proper hurt you on a hard turn. Yeah, he and he's one of them. And if you have got one of them, you're probably better off playing them in a ten. Like a everything we say about him though. Surely his output should be better than it is. Yeah. yeah. That's due to injuries, though, because at the beginning no, of the season... No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, At the beginning, yeah, no, you're right now, because his, his output right now... Two assists in 10. Back. Yeah, 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 no, his output lately has been bad. So, you know what it is? So, there's so many times that you would get the ball on the half turn. This is going to what you said about some people you see, and and he will do that pass that gets uh, Kuleneski. Then he will assist the ball, and there's so many of that that he's starting. Assist, these yeah, but then again, when we talk about ten, now I'm not I'm not diminishing his ability. I'm just saying you, if we're gonna have a talk about ten, you're gonna talk about someone who's a playmaker in the most attacking space on the pitch. If you're that and you have the the vision and the the touch, you lot saying he has his output should be better. Which is why I say ten is when you say it's a ten. I'm saying. Don't, let's rein it back in a bit more. For Key me, in, for me in yeah. Europe at the moment, apart from KDB, is um, Florian Wurtz. Yeah, now cool his though. output at the moment is Mental goals, output. assists, Mental as well as cool. chances created, all the rest of it. So if you that for me is the perfect. Does, is Musiala a ten? Yes or no? Mm, interesting. He's got that ability though. Half when we turn. talk about tens, I don't think tens are get, are being played. Like Havertz is the closest to a ten that I've seen this year. Okay, fair enough. Because he was free in the attacking space and was a midfielder. But you know what? That's so so false nine. How false nine would play is not how a ten would play. A false in my nine has ruined the tenth position basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's sat in there. Like Trossard can play. And Harry Kane, yeah, for real. If you're playing with a ten, you need an out and out killer number nine. Last mm -hmm. like last man shoulder. Yeah, because Madison to Son is not Madison to Tony or yeah. Madison to. Well, Son's a killer though. He's yeah, a, but I'm saying killer, Son but wants still, to run channels. He's not naturally straight through. So then maybe, maybe Madison's situation in terms of output for numbers is, is down to a lack of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen Werner miss a few opportunities this Wigan, year. Well, you, wouldn't play, you wouldn't play him in a system that doesn't suit him and say, you're, you're a 10, but don't worry, you're not going to get any assists. He'll have other he, just don't, he, 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 he would have not other right stats. Now. Forget his, like, obviously goals and assists is what, like, is the main things you look at. But chances created... He's up there. He he will be way up there. No, of course. I, I'm, I'm here to defend Madison. Yeah. I'm saying Madison's definitely doing all of that. I'm just saying in certain situations, I reckon your numbers would be higher, which is obviously an obvious statement if you had more a more productive striker because Son, I've seen Where going left wide a little bit. Richarlison. Six, yeah. Ooh, I, <laughs> I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, he should be higher for me. At yeah. least in the top, top five. Let's have a look what's yeah. going on. Yeah, Madison. Yeah, I think he should at least be in the top five for it's, me. His output's probably the only thing. I just want to start. I want to see who's got above him then because I think and he should be what their output five. is. Yeah. Bruno Fernandes is... But clear, by the way, at the number one, I believe. Uh, of chances. Of chances. Yeah, created, yeah, 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 yeah. He's created like a million. It's Pascal Gross. Um, I was with some United fans that were killing him the other day. He's not in the top 10. Who? For big chances. Madison. Kulis Kulisevsky is. He's not. But I would say that Madison not being in it is due to him missing a lot, though. He has missed a lot. That how many games he missed? How long was he injured for? He missed at least three months worth of football, mate. He missed three months. <laughs> we know what I say about stats. <laughs> at least. At least three months <laughs> worth of football. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's James Madison. And number six on our list was voted for by everybody. Steve-O and Margs had him highest. They had him number two. So Margs, before we get into Steve-O's fandom, you can tell us why Lucas Paqueta is the second best attacking midfielder Just in the Premier League. Just sold my car to Lucas Paqueta. Just so for me, it was pretty easy. Yeah. Put him number two. <laughs> Bruno's number one. Right, yeah, that makes sense. But um, Doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Plus, it's my favorite, innit? It's what I like. I think it's that. <laughs> 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 Mano, he's, one, he's one of the best attacking players in the league, man. I think he's just quality. I'm going to be pissed when Man City buy him. Played some good games on the wing this year. Had to graft yeah. for it. I don't like that. Yep. But they, they, they beat Chelsea with him on the wing, right? He beat Chelsea, we beat Arsenal. Is Paqueta... Uh, go on, go on, ask the question. He beat Arsenal, Arsenal when? 
We beat you twice. In the League Cup and the League. He did. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, 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 DJ that, man. Yeah. But Check I'm saying, when I see amazing. Paqueta play, I see, him, I see him get the ball from deep, though. I see him drop a lot into that deep space and drive. All, but man. Bruno does that as well. The eye test. He, he, he had you sad when we was at... Um, Upton Park. When we was at Upton Park, uh, wherever it was. Or, What's it called? The Boylan. Um, the Olympic Stadium. <laughs> the Olympic Stadium. London Olympic Stadium. In Westfield. Quality, quality player. Um, Man, I'll be honest with you. I've probably said it here. I was like, let him go. Let him go. I'd rather bring he in did. another player, spend it he well. Did. Well, no, man. He set up, it was in a row, he set up seven goals in a row. And then when he left, like got injured, we didn't, like literally, he is the pinnacle of cu- the ball goes through him. Even Kudos didn't play well when he wasn't there. He makes the team tick. Definitely going to miss him. He's an unbelievable player. When he went and played for Brazil as well, I thought, let's see. Right, he's he dominated Brazil. for Brazil as for well. Brazil's like, the guy, oh. man. Yeah, I was like, okay, this guy's. He was good at Lyon, to be fair. He was great at Lyon, but it was saying, uh, I think he had a head problem. It might be the gambling. When are we going to get something settled on his gambling stuff? I, I don't <laughs> And he bust <laughs> that what? case. Oh, yeah. I thought he no, busted. That's why the City deal fell through, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but then they've been, they've been linked with him again, so I just figured that it's but all I right don't now. Think, I think it's not yeah, as bad as the other some dirt over it, innit? Tonali. He's been doing it again, right? Yeah, the Tonali done it again. Tonali yeah, done it again. Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. Zaniolo busted. What is not betting on? Just like corners. Black. Red. Uh, Lucas What's wrong with these man? Uh, allowed FA access to his phone amid probe. In, that was in October, but there's not a lot happened come yeah, out he's since not been, then. Listen, man, he's a good guy. FA, he's a family he's guy. I'm gonna give the FA access to my phone. Yeah, FA could have my phone. Bro, hey, you can't have my phone. You're <laughs> sick. He's a great guy. I vouch for him. <laughs> I think. You, I think. I think. And this might be. This might be a hot take. I think. I think you can be a good guy. And gamble. And gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're mutually Possibly. exclusive. Possibly. Yeah. Hey, Possibly. Ask all the barbers in Wood Green, fam. Good guys. Wow. Oh, wow. It's good fifth, guys and gamblers. Fifth year. Fifth year. Is it fifth, you say? That's that's all right. I'm I all don't right. think there is five players in fifth the Premier League, say. four players with better ability the and with more output than him, yeah. Well, there are. There, there are. are. There are. Oh, oh you're looking there at are. it. Yeah, 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 yeah I think so. There is, but yeah. if he says that, I'm not even mad at him saying that. Why? Well, no, he just said it. No, what he said was statistics. As in, it's not an opinion. <laughs> Huh? Well, what he said is, is like... Is it, is, it, is it a fact? Well, we'll get, we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll, you'll tell us if they're better than Paqueta for okay. every player in the rest okay. of the list. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we... Come on. No, no, and I'll be honest. Not like him. All right. I'm more than honest. <laughs> more than honest? <laughs> What's more than honest? Snitch. <laughs> Biles, apparently. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> I'm more than honest. I'm more than honest. <laughs> What's more than honest? When, talk, when, it, when we talk about the, the subject of football, I'm more than honest. What is more? I've asked you what is I'll more than honest. I'll just give my honest opinion. I'm more My honest opinion. Oh, yeah. I'm my honest opinion, man. But nah, I've, I've be, never yeah. been a rat. So that's not my game. You've already done it today. Well, we're going about to get to number four. But well, before we do... If you're not subscribed to Filthy Fellas, subscribe now. Um, right, you said Filthy Fellas. I heard Filthy Fellas in ages. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You know what you just should do? Press the bell. The notification bell. That bell's annoying, man. Sorry. <laughs> right. What? We're trying to get people to subscribe. You're stepping on the products. <laughs> You're stepping the on likes. the products. Need the likes. It's all about the likes. It's all about the likes. The so likes. You need, you need likes. The likes dri- drive the algorithm onto the YouTube page. So it's all about likes. You need to know. Is it? Likes. Well yeah, done. Comment, likes subscribe. Here, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, comment, subscribe. That's the first one. But uh, in honor <laughs> of like, comment, ten and years. subscribe, we've made it to number four on our list. Sometimes plays wide, has been playing a lot in the attacking positions. He was voted for by everyone except Margs. And I'm going to say the person who should explain it is Jordi because he had him the same level as myself, Miles, and Dan. But Miles and Dan have already explained a player. So Who's Jordi, Bernardo Silva. Oh, oh what mate. a player. You didn't vote for him. I just forgot. Yeah, that, that, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I give him that. It happens, it happens. When it comes to football, he is above on this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 he's an amazing footballer, but I'm not happy he's in this short list. Let me get that out of the way. Why? He's played too many positions, man. Uh, well, he doesn't hold that space. It's no, either no. Alvarez or Foden there. He's on wide. But seeing him there, we, he had to be up there. But the guy... Is uh, is bro? He's relentless. Yeah. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? He's like, but you know, Jordy, you know, I got a theory. I think he's a teacher's pet at Man City. I think he doesn't 
He plays so other rude. positions, yeah. So rude. Because like Pep's like, please do this for me, Bernardo. And Bernardo be like, of course, so I'll do yeah, anything yeah. for you, boss. So and I think rude. that's the reason why he plays it, honestly. That just makes Bro, everybody else I rubbish. saw him DM against Newcastle. Wait, left back. I said, a left back against Newcastle. That makes Bro, everyone else rubbish. He's actually, too nah, good, yeah. Bro. And what's mad is, yeah, for the way that we speak about, even if say just on this show, like I know everybody rates him. It didn't work though. He's underrated. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, he's no, but the truth is, there's like, like. Bigger names in his team and his in his country. Do you know what I'm saying? He's got to get a position. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he's bro. It's he's like so Neymar cold, with Messi, bro. bro. He needs like, a position, bro. Like you can't. I don't care how good you are. If you can't. If you ain't got a position, Jack of all trades. Can't. Yeah, but that's Pep I don't think he needs you. one. He does obviously because otherwise he'd have, be top. Don't have one. But that's Man City. Once you're an attacking player at Man City, you can play anywhere Pep tells you to play. Like Foden not hold down a position. Bernardo not really hold down a position. It's Pep. Kevin De Bruyne might be the only person who sort of holds down the position. No, and Rodri. Oh, wait, then he don't. Nine, eight, six, <laughs> like, no one does. Wing. <laughs> I, that's Nunes. I see Nunes everywhere as well. There, so. is, some, there is some truth to that because he's obviously, like, he's unanimously amazing. Yeah. But I think if he held down one spot, we would talk about him. Like, I think if he held down one favorable. spot, it makes him easier to stop. Because he can pop up anywhere. I don't think he could stop can't that. kill him. I don't think it'll stop him. I think he's really good in tight space, so it should be right, fine everywhere. But it's interesting, because when you do get that much freedom, especially from the wing, you come inside, Imagine you find yourself on the ball and you've got a certain level of ability, you are hard to get away Imagine from. Imagine you're playing against City and you, you just don't know how to set up, because how, how, how where is he going to be? That guy? Yeah, like where, where is he going to be this week? He's going to be on the left side <laughs> yeah. of the box, then he's going to be all the way on the right-hand side. Like, you can't. Like, his, you, problem, his problem is his teammates. Obviously, look, we could put him, we could put him everywhere, but everywhere you put him, there's someone in front of him who you, who you can't argue. Like you're saying, you see him play the six, but we'll go Rodri. There's no argument there. You see him play through the middle, like in the 10 or whatever, you go De Bruyne. There's no real argument there. Even when he's going from the wings and you got flipping the likes of Mares cooking and stuff like that. So it's just his teammates that's actually killing him. He's he's the one, you know, like he's, but he's too only, good. No, we, he, can, he can play in all them levels, all them positions to a top level. None of them other man couldn't do that. Exactly. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, he's the missing piece. He's the missing, you get, you play him. You don't, it don't matter where you play him, but you play him. Kiwio, he absolutely, Cooked Kiwi off. You gotta commend. Killed you him. gotta commend someone that's that patient and versatile, because he's never I kicked up. I would want. If I'm a manager, I don't want to. Leave, I don't want him to leave. I offer him the world. If I don't want leaves, him to leave. Though, I think he leaves. Though. Where's he going? Play what position again? I think he just goes and plays everywhere again. He tried to go nah. um, City. Um, he tried to go PSG and Barcelona, but I think he's signing a deal. I think. I think there was a time where it was Arsenal that he was looking at. Yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, he was linked with yeah. Arsenal, and then he, he was, scored. Huh? Where does he play for Arsenal? Anyway, anyway he wants. Anyway, <laughs> anyway he wants. Anyway, it's Bernardo Saka, Silva. No, so you don't play, replace him for Saka. No, you probably you don't replace him for Odegaard. Havertz. You don't replace him for it's probably the Havertz one, where like Havertz has that freedom to kind of like go anywhere. Havertz rich. height is a big part of that. In yeah, that team, massive though. part. Of the goes, physicality, yeah. For yeah, well, it's easy for Bernardo Silva to fight into Arsenal. If I saw Odegaard, Rice goes, yeah, Rice goes into the six. What Jorginho's doing now, and then Bernardo Silva does what um, Rice is doing on the eighth, late at left eight. Or just push up. It would never be the same player anyway because there's too many. If you're playing against City, there's too many people to worry about. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if you if you give him another midfield, you don't get the same Bernardo Silva. But you know, you, like you got to keep your eye on him as well as Rodri, as well as it was Gundogan, as well as Fippin, Morris, all of them. Every year, Man City seem to be able to like sideline a player. Like, okay, you're, it's, this ain't your year. You're gonna do dog work this year. No, don't worry. Next year you'll get twenty goals. It's like a la it's like a label, isn't it? Yeah. This is your rollout. Yeah. No, this is your album. <laughs> Alright, cool. Next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Who is it this year? Like Grealish. Well, that's no, injuries Rico to be Lewis. fair. Grealish sat down. Yeah, Who's Rilish. getting rolled out this year? Rico Lewis. But yeah, they're bringing him back in now, though. Rico Grealish. Lewis is a rollout year. Yeah, he's Rico Lewis is rollout year. No. No, yeah. No, this last year. year. No, no, no. He's he's better this year now. He's way better this year. Last year, last year was his single. Oh, we got a new, new, new guy on the block. That was a treble, you know. That was a good single. It's a great single. <laughs> it's a great single. Now he's here. Oh, they gave Foden the keys to the label. I think this year, man. Nah, but we all know what he was about. He was a wonder kid. I know, but he Alvarez, had, but as he well. was second. Alvarez, as Alvarez well. had a lot of freedom this year. Good. Yeah, like when you had Cam and Jay. Foden has come. He was waiting for Jay to move. Yeah, and do you know what? Credit to Bernardo Silva because Pep Guardiola does have a habit. Two, three years, you're gone. Bernardo Silva is still here. He's been there for a while alongside the likes of Kevin now. De Bruyne. Oh, well, I think he should go. But what's he, what's he worth with, with a contract though? If he's, I don't know how many years, if he had years with a contract. At uh, least, yeah, probably around 80 just to talk to him, at least. No, if he does go, I could, always see, I could always feel like he left and seems like, right, that was a bargain. He's a, he's a, he's a one man. That's, to, that's a one That's who we're talking about, a one 29. It's 29. Oh, 30 this year. Yeah, oh, crap. Oh, 30 this year. He's 90. 30's not the same as 80. the 30s before, though. Like, or they still doing that. Like, he does look older in the face. Oh, so now they're signing man on the face now. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying I'm saying he carries his age a little bit and he looks a That's little... That's just Portuguese. Is Bruno, Bruno, is? Bruno's, got, Bruno's got these. Ronaldo looks young. Yeah, Bruno's got these now. The, the PKs, yeah. Y
Ronaldo looks young. Ronaldo don't Ronaldo look young. Ronaldo looks young. It's natural. It's natural. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo is finished now. Ronaldo and Casemiro, they've got He's missing said two more years. contacts. Uh, CR7's finished, boys. Well, number three on our list was voted for by everybody. Poet had him lowest. Margs had him highest at number one. His name is Bruno Fernandes. Come on, man. Why do United fans dislike him? I don't know why. Do they? I can't understand it. No, it's easy to hate the constant. It is. It's easy to hate the constant. Why? But the truth is, he's always there. But always. Yeah, That's what I'm special. saying. Do you know what it is? I think it's because he looks like a rat and he's petulant. Yeah, it's easy to and hate And he's petulant. That. But what the truth is, Never that guy is there. always, always there, bro. The thing is, I can't knock him. The thing is with Bruno, you don't take him off. He finished the other day. was crazy, too much magic. No. Bro, that was tech. Too much that magic. was magic. That too is much crazy. Magic. Say what you want about him, but since he signed without him, we'll be screwed. Do you know the greatest, the greatest people that afford Bruno is, um, obviously the common folklore is United make players worse. Somehow, Bruno doesn't get that. He just gets called I hear you. <laughs> yeah, how, Actually, co- how come that's the case? I, I, I thought, no, but even when they called him, shit, if you sit down and unpack it, they'll go, "Okay, cool. Look, he's not." Shit, but yeah, just, yeah, that too. It's just that he plays for United, didn't it? Like they're frustrated, isn't it? Yeah, they're it's frustrated, the frustration. Man, we know what it. he can be. He's the heartbreak kid. Bruno's a perfect player, though. You, f- I feel sorry for him. I would wonder what he would be like at Man City. We say we wonder what he'll be like. Yeah. He's actually been really cooking. Like, no, but I'm saying to you, I, I wonder mean, yeah, what it would be honestly, like if he was at a better yeah, club where yeah. people could well, actually organized. finish off chances or... What, would he get... If he scored 50 for you lot, right? 74. There was one chance against Liverpool. He's got the ball in the middle of the park and I already know Rashford's going to make the run. He doesn't make the run. He ends up playing the ball and it looks like a bad pass, but it was the same thing they had been doing the whole game and Rashford just decided to not run this time. I'm saying, in a team that's more efficient, bro... His stinkers are loud as well because he never... He don't hide. I'll give him that. In a different team, you're calling him a madman. From even like this season, from last season, you see the compilations of the chances that this guy creates for his teams and that they're not taking. Dan, you play, you play centre midfield. Yeah. Be honest, someone like that picking up positions where you can't even, and then even as a centre back, bro, I don't even know how he's going to play this pass. I feel like I've got the set up perfect. Next, you know, the ball's in behind guys one on one. He don't care if it's gone wrong nine times. Like, he's going to try still going to do he's it. He's going to try the attempt. I feel like B. Balassi said that, didn't he? Mm, that finish against Liverpool is not for everyone. It's not for anyone. That was rude. <laughs> Do you see the technique? How can you once. dink and swerve? How can it? Bro, do you know how hard it is to, to, to swerve like it? Coming yeah, this yeah, way yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Came back You're like a hundred yards out. At Old Trafford and you're losing one nil. You haven't had one shot on goal. Cutting across it. You cut it. Nah, it went nah, this that way. was scary, man. That was amazing technique. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, oh Steve-O. The technique, Steve-O, was watched unreal. The game. You watched the game and you missed the goal. You missed the goal? I was cooking a roast. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. He was cooking as well, boy. doing his thing. Shout out Bruno, Do you not think he's strong? Must like be. you can hold him off. Must be. Nah, he can't be. I don't think he's he doesn't strong. Doesn't look it. He's yeah. not weak though. Yeah, not weak. Nah, he's clever. He's de- if you're clever, yeah, you don't clever, need to be yeah. strong. He knows he's how to cool. use his body. Yeah, because he, he knows how to draw a foul. He doesn't get hurt really either, does he? I think he missed one game this year, and he's got because he got suspension. a suspension. Yeah, yeah suspension. Yeah, like like granite, Liverpool. Boy. He should leave. Granite never got injured. He boy. deserves to be appreciated somewhere. He's only won what the Carlin, the League Cup in his whole career. He should leave, man. How old is he? Twenty-eight. 29, I think. Oh, Barcelona. I think he's 28. Bruno, go win Sutton, man. Don't go like Kane, though. He might be too risky 30 for this them. year. He's 30 this year. Take like, care uh, of him. You can play him Bruno CM, maybe. Cool. Bruno is a player. Do you know what it is? Like, Bruno is a player because how many combinations of midfielders has he had and they've all left? But, but it's never been Bruno's Let's look at those really. combinations, though, yeah? Fred. They're all, Pogba. They're all kind of built to protect him, you know? Yeah, yeah, and they don't the do guy. it. It's not the job that they do. No, they can, but you lot just have bare it's mistakes. Not, it's you. not the job that they do. He hasn't been. When has he ever been protected in that midfield? There've been players, whether it's Fred and uh, Fred and Fippin McTominay, whether it's whoever it is, it's always defensive-minded players because they know that he could just go out there and win the game. Hopefully, McTominay's not even defensive-minded, bro. You just see his stats. You just see his stats. Number two on our list, Nick didn't make number one on anybody's list. No, nah, he wouldn't. He's the bridesmaid right now, though. It's annoying until my man leaves, man. Then he takes over, yeah? Yeah, because wow, we, we all know who it is. But we all know. We all know who it is, We all know who it is, though. Let's wait. And uh, Jordi had him lowest <laughs> in fourth, <laughs> Man, so he, he can explain Martin Odegaard. <laughs> I forgot who I had above him, but clearly who I had above him, I rate. Well, well, you better. Kevin De Bruyne, Bruno, Bernardo Silva. Come on. Yeah, I hear that. Come I hear on. that. I, I, hear that. I, don't, I, don't, I don't hear the Bruno thing right now, no, because I haven't seen... It, you know what? I'm, I don't want to look at it from an Arsenal perspective, but... I think no 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 let me let me land it. I think Bruno could be what Odegaard is, even though I think Bruno is more 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 special, but he's not in a no, better Bruno's team. No, Bruno's more special than. No Martin. no no no. Listen, I don't. Th- if Bruno was in like a a, a well oiled machine like a Liverpool, a Arsenal or a um, Man City, we'll see the best of Bruno. But I'm judging him because of what I've seen at Man United. I know how good he is. They're, they're they're totally different players, and the only thing that's killing Odegaard is the the, the, the presence of. 
Kevin De Bruyne just existing. So like just oh. off his past history oh, and his oh, thing, like you Odegaard give it, don't shoot enough. Mugs. If you just go off, what? if you just go off mm. form, you don't shoot enough. Just for even just this season, this season, then yeah, Odegaard's Odegaard's probably the best player in the league, man. Come on, man, let's yeah. have it right. Hey, you're just saying things. <laughs> No, I think, I think, no, okay, I, I, if he, oh, hang on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. And if he does shoot enough, it's not good enough then. How about that? How much goals has he got? Last season he got 15. Last season he got 15. Do you know how much money I win off overguard shots and goals? Like, got 15. This is literally one of my go-tos. Harry Kane, Appenda. He's gone against Luton midweek. Like, what are you doing? Like, he's actually uh, one of my go tos for betting. He's guessing. O- Odegaard shoots. <laughs> he shoots, what bro. What are you doing? Odegaard's yeah. city shooting. Calm well, down. He does. First person shooter, man. I'm asking the Arsenal fans. You've you told me. You didn't ask me. You didn't ask me. You've had a stinker, bro. Odegaard. Calm down. Calm, calm down. I'm the one that's putting him up highest, no? No. Yeah. <laughs> What, you, oh, you discovered Odegaard, yeah? Two yard no, passes. You had him third, you had him third. Me and Tigo have been talking about Odegaard since 2014. Yeah, okay, but he shoots. 15. <laughs> 16? <laughs> he shoots, bruv. I think uh, he's some, somewhere close to perfect. Yes. He's so oh. good, man. But there's like, and I try and put my finger on what it is. For a player, and this is why I don't class him as a 10. Because there's something that a player needs, which is they got to get flashbacks when they've got the ball to being broke or being like on the back of the bench or whatever it is. So that when, when there's an inch of a space where you can maybe wrap your foot around it and play something bananas, something crazy that no one saw coming at, and get around a defender, he doesn't do that. No, he doesn't time. take a give risk. Me, he he doesn't take enough risks. That's what I'm talking about. I said shooting, but Ooh. it's risk. No, what? I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. You just want him to a bit more. I'm saying in that 10 role, in that in that space between the midfield and, and the attack, which is not really where he plays, by the way, so I don't say he's a 10. If if he had that like if he if he had everything he has and he was Brazilian, or if he had everything that he has and he was from the favelas or for, uh, like he a little bit killer. of grit. He's got a killer. So you think he's too clean? He hasn't got the same raw. He's not old, raw got enough. Got I don't know first what... team. He's nice. What's your... No, he wasn't nice. At 18 years old, he was told he's a flop. It's, he's, a, he's, left, he's a cute left-footed player who's very super smart, like yeah. super intelligent. Too smart. So because of it, it, it don't, he never has to play that De Bruyne outside of the boot, 60 yard. Like he just no. keeps things ticking but his he way. Can. He is the game. Let's have it right. He's probably the best player in the league right, right now. Doesn't that just make him efficient? Yes. No, he's but, and efficient. he's purely, that's what I'm saying though, but there's risk nothing, win nothing. And I'm not saying that's his game because he's so good and because he has really good attacking players around him, he doesn't need to worry about that. But I'm saying when it comes to big moments in big games, and, and I think Man City is a good example. He gave the ball away a few times when they were transitioning high up the pitch, and he just, but he was just passing, yeah, but even Kevin too was safe, rubbish. and it, it was easy to read. And I think Kevin De Bruyne will see us. Kevin, De, on that Kevin De Bruyne, though, no, man. I'm not. Kevin De Bruyne will see a picture and take a risk on a pass. I don't think Odegaard but takes you know what that is? risk. He could take that risk. The thing is with Kevin De Bruyne, he can afford to take that risk with that pass because he knows if he gets to that, if he gets it to that player, it's a goal. We don't have that player he could take a risk to. Well, Saka. I just don't think it's no. in his personality. Because with him and Saka's too, him and Saka. Martinelli. You're saying no, that, no. Because no, 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 with, no, no, like, no. with Kevin De Bruyne, you can put it in an area and you know there'll be a certain person well, he, there. Kevin De Bruyne do that. had Gabriel Jesus too, bro. Harlan's and new. now he has. Yeah, but how many new. places he had? He's had he's had Kun Aguero. He's had he's had Sil- he's had. Um, yeah, and he had Jesus Gabriel Jesus. Got, yeah, yeah he's but he just didn't start like Aguero though. Yeah. Man, he's always had like a. Killer. Kevin Bruyne has never faulted on what I'm saying. Whether it was with your striker, who you know is not good enough now, yeah. or yeah. whether it's with Erling Haulland, whoever it is, he's never No, but I'm saying Kevin De Bruyne has had, had Kevin reasons De to take a risk though. risks with these passes. I'm just saying, my thing with Odegaard is he's so smart. He's so efficient, he's so clean, he's so technically pure that I think he always can see the smartest pass when actually there are risks he could totally take. Totally agree, and that's probably what I meant more than he don't shoot. This ain't going to land. He's not in the top 10 for shots, taken or shots on target. He should be for a player of his ability. He's with a brain. That left foot. He's a brain. <laughs> There you go. He Drop the phone. That's it, mate. That's it. He should be. That's my opinion. Who, who is he in the top ten? He came back with Evie. He came back with Evie. Bruno, Bowen, I, I don't know. I don't know. He Watkins, that. Foden, Alvarez, Cole Palmer, uh, Sun Ming Hong, that's, and that's Jared shots Bowen. On, that's shots on target. Lot. That's shots on target. Lot. That's a lot of wide players, by the way. He just named. Yeah, he just named the top goal scorers of the league. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. One of the top goal scorers. <laughs> One <laughs> of them. <laughs> mate, mate, mate. No, 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 no. Name, no, name me that list again, please. That's all I want to hear. I'll tell you. Go on. No, no, shots, this is the shots on no, no, target. No, no, no. Right, just go through one, no, one, name, one, one, one. Just name me the names. Hoyland, 
Salah. Wait, 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 wait,
His other girl's game. His other girl's game is to smash a ball from thirty yards and get, put the top bins like Kevin Bruyne. He, shoot, he shoots a lot. His game though, Mark. He shoots a lot. Yeah, he does shoot a lot from outside the box. You just told me he well, shoots not, a lot. Most last season, more so. Like I said, because I'm a gambler and I'm he used so to win confused. me a lot of money. From yeah, last shots. season he had. Last that, season, yes. more so, he was letting it fly. He was but that's ripping not his it off. Game, though. Oh, Rodri's I'm, got more goals, more goals than assists. Assist. Than no, tell me his numbers. Tell me his numbers. Oh, what's it matter? More seven. Odegaard's got seven goals and six assists. Rodri's got seven goals and seven assists. Oh, it's only one more. I thought it was embarrassing. That is not a lot, but. It's what? Rodri. Yes, we're just saying someone who sits deep. My, my, Mulligan. What's Mulligan mean? For Odegaard to just maybe once or two times just slap that ball. Yeah, slap that ball. Okay, Get cool. us to 15 but goals again. You want him, but, but Jordi, they want him to slap the ball yeah. and he might miss. But for me, I would rather him Guys, slot. I've got one an appointment. Second, one second. I would rather him slot the ball to Ben White uh, and no, Ben White just I'm check just, it I'm in. I'm goal. going at six. Yeah, you, and you're right. Yeah, yeah, the overlap. All right, let's get I'm to number that. one, though. Let's, let's get to number one. That's more, that's more of a create. That's more of a hey, hey, hey. I rattled you, didn't I? You know, I'm, I'm first in the league. You, can't, you know why you can't I rattle me? I'm first in the league. I'm you. first in the league. Bro. Number one on our bro. list, and he was voted and number one. Look at his face, he hates it. I'm first in the league. You can't rattle me. Number one. I'm your king right now. Oh, God. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. What do you mean? You don't, you don't what are you talk. talking West about? West London, oh, you. Bro, listen, I've watched you at this position loads of times. Just wait. And I've watched you 12th and 10th. Loads of times. You haven't. When's the last time you won a league? Oh, You're not doing a good job of not looking around right now. Oh, just, just chill. <laughs> just chill. Just stop. Just chill. Just stop. Just chill. I've just got two chill, Champions chill. Leagues in a lot. Yeah, just got more relax. Leagues than you. I've got more just leagues. Chill just chill over just there. Relax. You're still a baby boy. Listen. You're not even top five. You haven't even won this league. You're, You're in an absolute dogfight. You're not anything. Like, what are you doing? How many trophies does Chelsea have as a club? Don't do that, Dan. Mulligan. Guys, what, what did he just say? Guys, Mulligan. What did he just say? What did he just say? Guys, just, you, just, you, you can't think. The dyslexia is just killing him. I smell a bet. They've got five in their whole entire career. I smell a bet. Who? Dan? I smell a bet. All together. No, what are you talking Dan, about? Dan, focus, Miles? focus. I smell a bet. Just land He it. can't pay me no money. Yeah. Bow down. We're going to talk about number one. Number one was voted number one by everybody except for Margs, who had him third. He is still Kevin De Bruyne. Wait, wait, can we start with why you had him third? Because <laughs> I like Bruno and Paqueta. <laughs> I don't understand what we're doing it. Man. You know what we're to take this show seriously. I knew it don't matter. I could have not put Kevin De Bruyne in this list. He was going to be number one. So Ooh, I don't need risk to, it, man. So I'm not I'm using my it. list for my for my agenda. You've got to take risks. That's what, what we told Odegaard. Exactly. Yeah, take risks. Exactly. That's what we told Odegaard. And that's what a risk looks like. Yeah. A mess. He's only played like 11 games, got six assists. It's ridiculous, bro. He's got nine goal, uh, uh, <laughs> chief yeah, goal yeah. involvements already. Yeah. He's still somewhere in the back of his, he sees in the back, through the back of his head, but he still thinks, can this one pass make a goal? That is, and to have that technical ability and also be able to do all that simple stuff, it, there's no one like you him. You see that um, great players, um, see Messi, for instance, recently, it, when he didn't win the World Cup, it was like, oh, he needs to win a World Cup and to, cement legacy, which I never thought that personally, right? I didn't think that personally. But De Bruyne, I, and I know you don't like international football, but he's won everything club level. Belgium, no? man, Belgium, Belgium. When you play for Argentina and your Maradona, that is arguably <laughs> that Belgium team, that Belgium team was better than the Argentinian team. But had, they finished third. Was it finished? He's, he's had a good international yeah, career. Yeah, all right, man. Is Samuel Eto'o a legend? Yes. Who cares? He played. He's Cameroonian. He won I've gone. definitely but rattled you. I was asking yeah, the question. Who cares though? Don't do that. Hey, no, don't do Cameroon that. We care, man. No, 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 no. Respectfully to Cameroon, but it's about if you do it on the international stage and you don't. He's back. Know. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Did Samuel Eto'o win Afcon though? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. No, but you can't pick where you're born. You bad example. Highest goal scorer of all time in it. Though. He, he said World Cup. Oh, it's just a bad example. No, it's not a bad example. Bad example. Nah, you, but you a can't pick where you're born. You can't pick where you're born. Tigo, I have no he control of my table. He won two African Cup of Nations yeah, and he won an Olympic gold medal. No, so just, uh, two was a bad example. It's fine. You're right, Miles. Giggsy would have been you're a better right. example. Giggsy. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Georgie Best. That would have been a better example. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say someone else. It doesn't matter. I don't know why. Should have said Gareth Bell. He got. Don't, yeah. We yeah. Don't, yeah. See, can't pick where you're born. Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, can't pick where you're born. Forget Is that game he came league. off the bench you, against you, Newcastle? You've had a Pepsi, ain't you? No, nah, no. Nah, I'm charged up. I'm top of the league. Eat your Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your oh. Snickers. Top of the league, please cut this from. Like, do, 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 do. Yeah, this whole Top season. Has Kevin De Bruyne always this had that? Why they the drinks though? Has Kevin De Bruyne always had that? You know that David Beckham pass on the right hand side. I mean, like one of my favourite assists from David Beckham is the goal. Everyone know why. Ronaldo in, it? in Real Madrid, and I saw Kevin De Bruyne do it about 50 times oh, come against on, Newcastle. Nah, man, allow it. That Beckham one's crazy. He can kill you from anywhere, De Bruyne, man. And that's why I don't like him on the left hand side against Crystal and Palace. And you know what? You can ask him to cut in top bins. That I'm not sure if Odegaard has. Ask him to like 
Turn the screw. We've been talking about turning the screw. This, this, this point. You haven't watched other guards. No, 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 no. You haven't watched other guards. No, 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 no. But I mean, like, like that. Not like, not, not, not sort the situation with a that squash the beat. I'm talking like that. Like this, this game is my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So come here, all of you, and just whip it. Boom. Never seen older. Wait, wait, wait. You know why? You know why? You know why? Miles. No, 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 no. Because he didn't do anything there. Because we all agree with that. Oh, Odegaard's not that Poe guy. Doesn't. No, 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 no. He's not that <laughs> guy. What you said about Kevin De Bruyne is right. Times ten. You don't need to compare to Odegaard. That's not the two different. No, no, that's exactly right. Two different types of players. This, this, this it doesn't about. make sense. No, no, no. Do you understand what we're do? Do you, do you know what we're here to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. Yeah, yeah. But you, what you done? Like, do you, you get it? Not like are you all right? Are you like, sick? We are here but no one to compare. That. But no one. The top ten. No, Who no. you think is top ten and yeah, why they are above the others? Planet though. He's gone. He's better well, than it'd be nice else. if he could, like every player, every team should have someone that could get it by the scruff of the neck. But that's, the, but not everybody has a Kevin De Bruyne. That's why he's been the best for the past seven years in the world. So we can't compare him. Oh, Miles, you could sit this one out if if, it, if it's him. just if it's just Kevin De Bruyne. Yes, it is. Saying it's that, him. But you he's can sit. Out, you can sit out. We can talk about other players at the same time, and you can no. imagine <laughs> she no. jumping. I don't know what he's doing. He's just arguing. This, this now, Kevin De Bruyne is Miles better than Martin yeah. Odegaard to me. Like, I'm, like we all know that. You compare Odegaard and De Bruyne doesn't make sense. He can be Miles better than Odegaard can have something better than him, or can have something that he does that is good as him. If they play one on one, think so. Kevin De Bruyne wouldn't see the ball. If yeah, they, probably. If they play five aside, right, Kevin De Bruyne wouldn't get near him. Okay. Yeah, like a better short passer, maybe like I don't think at, like, that moving chess pieces. I don't just think he's yeah. a better short passer than Kevin De Bruyne. Probably got better touch. I don't think so. He ain't got a better touch than Kevin De Bruyne. Hey, filthy at five. <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, was good, <laughs> that table. KDB's him. <laughs> I tried my best. I really did. We're going to do uh, <laughs> the good. top 10 now to round out this show. Number 10, we had Ross Barkley. Number nine, we had Cold. Dominic Sobersline. Number eight, we Not had good. Morgan Gibbs White. Should Number be seven, we had Eber Richieze. Nah. Number six, we had James Madison. Yeah. Number five, we had Lucas Paqueta. Sick. Number four, we had Benola Silva. Number three, we had. Oh, yeah. Number two, we had Martin. Severe ADHD. Yeah. Probably yeah. CTE yeah. as well. Wow. He's acoustic, man. Arsenal's winning the Champions League. Oh.